Hello YouTube, welcome back to Chess Tech and guess what? How exciting is this news? I actually beat my challenge. I got to 1951 in Blitz. Wow! Aren't I amazing? I'm better than 91% of all Blitz players. Which doesn't say very much considering there's 10,000. My rank is 10,000. So yeah, I thought I was a bit good for about 10 seconds until I noticed that I'm still ranked 10,000. So there must be, I'm guessing, 100,000 people ballpark. So anyway, 100,000 Blitz players, that is, uh, based on that calculation. But anyway, we shouldn't moan. So um, there it is, we've done. So what's next? The plan next is the big 2,000. And that's going to be hard. Um, yeah, and before we talk about it, I just wanted to, before I um, go into uh, what we're going to do next to get the 2000, I was having a quick look at the coaches, and I found it really interesting, so I just wanted to look and see what the disparity is between a proper title player, GM, IM, FM, uh, FIDE rated that is compared to what Chess Tech, uh, Chess Tech, Lie Chess, Lee Chess gives them. So yeah, here we go. So this guy here has got a FIDE rating of 2,400 and his Blitz rating is 2,351. So pretty close. Yeah, I, I suppose what I'm trying to say is uh, I want to know within reason how accurate is this Lie Chess Blitz rating, and it seems actually surprisingly close. I went through all these guys, I went through, I just looked at their profiles quickly, and the conclusion I came to is that the blitz rating is either, you know, 50 to 100 points either way, so in, more often than not, their FIDE rating would be higher than their blitz rating. Well, I'd say more often than not, it was probably about 50-50, I'd say. Um, that's some odd, but I'll probably, yeah. Um, so like here, yeah, 2300, 2400. So uh, that was interesting. I'd say probably that's unfair. I'd say it's probably 60, 40 actually. Um, but it was, some were very close. You know, they're within 50 points, you know. So it's definitely not, I suppose the conclusion I'm draw drawing from this is that your Blitz Chess rating after, say, you know, a decent number of games is probably not million miles off your real life rating. Now my real life rating if my is about one nine hundred. But well my national rating is one nine hundred or one nine fifty. And my actual FIDE rating is about one seven seventy. Which is I've only actually played nine games and the last game I played in a tournament if I had drawn that game, it would have been something like 2001. It went in it just under 1 800. And subsequently, I played another game and lost that. So it's pretty crushing, actually. That's another story about when you get your FIDE rating for the first time, you want to seriously make sure you get that right and get it sorted out because um, you uh, have only got one chance to really get that right and you want to play the best you can. Um, but I would say, um, without reason, without, without a doubt, looking at all these ratings and all these players, that, like I said, the Blitz rating is not a million miles off their FIDE rating, you know. So, um, the plan is then, so if we can get, if I can get to 2200, what I'd like to do, I suppose, is get to 2300, then I would, that would mean that I'm 2200 over the board. No, it wouldn't. No, it would mean that I was a decent player, you know, within reason, I would be a decent player. There we go, 2450 Blitz. Let's have a look. Let's view his profile, yeah. So, hmm. If he's played any 700 games, excuse me, I'm just eating a uh, lolly here. Um, if you hear any sucking noises. So he's played nearly 700 games, well-established player. Um, and uh, 2450 Blitz, which is actually less than his feeder ring. Oh, sorry, more than his FIDE ring. So, you know, but not a million miles, you know. Anyway, so, um, and that was an interesting thing, actually, back there. 
I've noticed another thing I will have a look at is his training is 2142. So his training rating is actually significantly lower than his video rating. It's interesting. Because my training rating, my training rating is 2036 after 17. So it's interesting that. So like I say, the plan now is to get to uh, 2000. But interestingly, just looking at the games that I played, so I just want to say that I think if you're trying to achieve a rating, um, a certain rating, you know, that's your goal in chess, then there are quite a lot of factors you have to take into consideration when you're going to try and get your rating. And I guess this uh, happens over the board or online, and that's just silly things like what mood you're in, are you tired, um, you know, the luck of the draw, who you get paired with, are they in a good mood, are they tired, I mean, all these factors, does the phone go in the middle of a game, you know, when you're about to mate somebody, you know, all these things all add up and they come together at one point in time and I suppose you could say the people that always win or, or do well, you know, and, and luck, um, you know, people make their own luck because they train and practice hard and people that are, are bad like a moaners and whingers and don't make it and you know it's a bit harsh. I mean I think what Blitz is is that I'm gonna show you a classic example of this this game here. The game that got me twenty one fifty is absolutely a disgrace. I mean, um I was uh, it, well it's an odd game actually, but I'm playing uh uh English and um Playing a guy's a strong player, Morris 76, I think. And um, I looked at this game and I. Um, it's just an absolute aberration of, of. I was absolutely crushing this this person. I mean, I think this is the. You either love or you hate Blitz, but I absolutely outplayed him. I mean, there's a move here. So he's piece he's exchanged down and his position is horrific. You know, he's he's he can't move any he can't get his knight out, his queen can't do anything. And um I think I missed this I'm yeah, I'm plus fifty five here. He's dead. And yet it just goes to show that I would say I'm a reasonable player. I I can't see it. I didn't did I even play that move? No, I didn't play that move. I thought about playing that move, and then the rook down to me. I just got the order wrong. So, I think, yeah, I played that, and then he just sacrificed there. It was just a bit unexpected. And then I came down here and thought he's still getting mated. But my point is, is that um, chess is a cruel game, because I'm plus 55 here. And all I've got to do is play that move. But I thought, I won't play that move. Why didn't I play that move? I didn't think it was much of a threat. I thought that um, his knight's not going anywhere anyway, and I might as well just get his rook in the game because my king's in the way. But the better move would have been to move my king actually up here out of the way. Anyway, this wasn't a great move. It wasn't a terrible move. But you can see I'm still better, but I've just dropped plus 50 on the computer. And then he does this knight sack move, and I just think this is desperado. So I come in here and just about, you know, waiting for him to resign. But I'm, I've dropped already. He's nearly equalised. In two moves, he's nearly equalised. I find that, that's incredible. And the time is no excuse here. Look at it, I've, I've actually got more time than him. So credit to him for playing on. I mean, at this point in here, this is the most utterly lost position. And probably over the board with more time. But we would see that, because the whole point of my plan there was to march this pawn up so I get my queen in here I just didn't actually follow it through I went for the kill too quickly trying to just do some cheapos at the end uh, and that was actually uh, although that still loses that still loses I could still have played it's still plus 55 I didn't play that because I thought he'll just block it with his knight which is the reason I didn't play it before but of course if I do play it got big problems there. We got getting naked in the end. Um, but anyway, so uh, just to highlight how bad this game got in the end, and how um, I'd already got up to 1,000 
949 I think and then blown it again and this was getting tired and angry I just wanted to stop playing really because I knew I was going to start losing tragically he's just mopping things up he's still completely lost but somehow I've now blundered and he's better he is now better can you believe this so my I have some plan of marching my king up the board and doing some like the king march and doing an incredible mate with it but it's not working really I'm just guessing I'm bluffing and now he's better even though I've got the rook I've lost all these pawns and now I'm totally lost basically now I'm even more lost and I'm just thinking all I can hope for now is that I just get some sort of perpetual and not lose the game and um, it ends up that I just um, I'm going for this perpetual just saying how cruel this is this game this is so lost and um, I guess this is a um, here this is such bad chess that he's checking me this queen and I can take it and I'm not even looking at it but we've got 10 seconds left and he's got six but I guess this is the benefit probably of playing um, he could have mated me there. Can you believe that? He missed it. Probably because the the difference between moving your mouse when you've only got three seconds left is you know, you just that's the composure. That's the difference between being you know, making it, I guess this is the difference between probably getting to twenty three hundred and not for both of us, you know. Um and um you know, just just look at this. And the reason I got away with this it's because I've played in my life, like I said, I got to over 2300 and bullet on chess. I've so played thousands and tens of thousands of bullet games, and I just managed to move blitz him out those last few seconds. You can see he just died. And you know, you could say, Is this really chess? You know, is this a great way to win a game of chess? You know, not really. Um, and then the other one, the one before that game. I should have lost both these last games. It was absolutely um, utter disgrace, really. Uh, um, so what am I doing here? Yeah, some a Benoni. And again, I got a decent position here, actually. Um, it's quite a tactical game, this actually. But I want. I th I thought I deserved. Again, um, they say who analyzes blitz games is a fool or something. Somebody famous said that. I can't remember, is it Alekine, Alekin, or Aliochen, however you pronounce it, maybe somebody can tell me. But, I don't know, I think you should look at your games and see, oh yeah, here we go, here. So I win a pawn against this guy, he's a strong player, he's got a good, um, good pedigree here, played a lot of games. Um, I'm minus 2.7, he thought my plans is worked, I just totally... I don't know what's going on here really. I've just out tacticed him. I'm a pawn up. I've got an immense bishop. Um, I've got active pieces. What more could you want in this position? You know? And the only problem is, is what is the problem? Um, yeah, I blundered actually. Here we go. Yeah, I, I completely forgot about his rook coming down here. And this move here, I don't know where the computer, but, but the computer doesn't actually still I'm still better still minus two so it's not really that bothered um, I don't want me to play King G8 there um, I'm still better and um, yeah I think did I win this game yeah I think I did win this game no I didn't I blew this actually. I may have blown this game. No, I actually won it. My god. Yeah, I actually won this game. Yeah, okay. So I won that game. He resigned. That wasn't actually the game I was going to show you, but uh, that wasn't a bad game actually. I was relatively pleased with that. The game I wanted to show you was. Um, oh god, what's going on here? Good God, what has happened here? Um, hello there, yeah, apologies about that, just being a bit of a clumsy with the mouth. So this is the game I wanted to show you, um, English again. And this guy's a good player, but um, again.
again um, let's actually do this properly see what's going on here <coughs> so I'm slightly better here most of this game very tactical game this um, but I felt like I was better I, I am better now but um, with these games it's actually I'm finding it is is hard to make I don't know what it is is the opening or the type of chess I'm playing to make anything of those moments to realize the moment when you're plus two or plus one it being plus one in a position doesn't often always look like plus one if you know what I mean there's not a pawn that's been won it's just a positional edge and they're very hard to convert I think um, so I probably should have gone I don't really just went for some cheapo down here and um, this is a difficult game because we're equal for so much at this game I took it into an end game and I'm still better because I thought I am better here I've got the bishops a better piece my pawn structure is is it's not as quite as good as his, but um, I just thought that I'd be able to, after we exchanged, at least be equal. And I was right, we're equal here. And it's a, it, I just, this is pretty standard stuff here. Um, and we're drawing, and then I just blunder. And this is unbelievable because I had some mental thing. I was worried about the fact that. Um, played this move here and all I had to do was drop back the king and but I was worried I can't move the king because he just comes through here and I, he gets an opposition and he breaks through but of course he can't ever because his pawn's always covering this square so I play the most horrific um, uh, move really which is a, uh, a4 he takes I take and that's the end of that all that hard work for nothing all that battling for nothing where um, you know I lose a game because I didn't think properly, properly, but I was under time pressure. So in the ending there, I mean he did well. He, he was much better for me in time. Um, but at that point, yeah, I I started flapping and I rushed it. Just one move like that, but that's that's uh, you know that's another symptom I think of being a you know I notice. 22, 2300 players don't make those moves, they just don't do it they just wouldn't blunder like that, just be hammered into them, that they would just see that they could just play the king back here and this is a, a draw all day long um, that brings me on to another thing, it, 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 I realised that in order to meet your rating goal um, you can be you, know, you can be in a great mood, playing well but you need the players um you need to be able to have the players to play. So if you're stuck just playing 18, 1900s of I was, I can't actually get to where I want to be because yeah, you know, I need to play 2000, 1950, 2200 players to get where I want to get minimum. And then obviously there's less of them because they're stronger players and then you can't find one and then you end up going, oh, I'll just play this 1-600 guy, and you lose because you're rushing it, because you want to play somebody higher rated, and get it over with, and then you lose 23 rating points, and then you're back square one. So I don't know. Um, the answer is, really. Um, but I do know that um, we... Uh, there's this level of, of of completedness as a chess player I'm noticing uh, as a, a the, the basic level of completedness as, as an all round not fumbling and that's about 2200 you know um, I think just tactics and being quick will get you up to 21, 2000 but you know the 2200s don't they just don't make those moves, you know. So this looks like a nice little win for NM. It should be. Hmm. Is he going to do it? The answer is no. Oh. Oh no. Wait. 
you go. Anyway, let's leave it at that. And um, thank you for watching this video. Any comments or questions, uh, please leave them on YouTube. And next time we have a video, we're going to be trying to get a 2000. I think it's going to be very difficult. See you later.